We welcome you to the U.S. Plastic Corp. Allen County football preview show. My name is Andy Lynch. We're getting ready for opening weekend featuring five broadcast games on the family networks, including Elida, LCC, Minster, Fort Loramie, Van Buren, Allen East, Pandora, Gilboa Grove, and the rivalry renewed between Middletown and Lima Senior. That's where we begin tonight. The Spartans coming off that historic year. Saw them win nine football games, including the overtime thriller at Miamisburg, 44-42 in Week 11. Lots of changes for senior high with head coach Mike Fell now in Arizona and many deep threats like Rico Stafford and Ruben Flowers III playing collegiate basketball and football respectively. Senior high hoping one change that won't be happening is the recent success as they welcome in new head coach Andre Griffin, the son of two-time Heisman Award winner Archie Griffin. First time head coach, but uh, once you're on the field, you know, it's coaching, you know, so that's the main thing, you know, and I'm coaching coaches as well, um, but uh, we're doing really, really good at that. They're learning the pace. Our pace is a lot faster as far as practice, putting the special teams more inside a, a practice, I think is good for them, and, and we're doing pretty good that way. He definitely brings a lot of intensity, and he brings like the next level, like college level stuff, he actually brings that down for us. So then we know what it's going to be like when we get out of high school and we go play for the next level. I, I like him. You know, I'm pretty cool with him so far. We're, gonna get, we're probably going to get more close together once the season gets on. You know, he's a pretty nice coach. Jaden has a tremendous ability and, uh, you know, being so fast and he's not scared to run in the middle if people didn't realize that. Um, you know, we're going to create some, some opportunities for him also on the outside, catching screens, catching catching little arrows and, and, and getting out. And I think he's going to be great for us. We got our full O-line back, okay. except for one guy, which is a center, but he's still good. We have a great center that can replace. Um, our D-line, yeah, they're kind of young. We got a lot of starters back, though, so we should be pretty good. And any time a player went down during practice because of exhaustion, a teammate would come alongside and say, lean on me. We were saying that we're a family, and we're going to rely, we're going to be able to, to rely on each other all the time. and. Um, Ooh, sorry, I'm out of breath. You're okay. We won't, like, basically, we won't leave each other out to die, basically. We, no one is left behind. We pick everybody up no matter what. We're creating, you know, a team atmosphere. You know, a couple of drills that we did in the summer, you know, we've had them talk to, the, to each other and, and create a team because without a team, you know, we can't have anything. So talking to each other, you know, you got to go communicate from the, the line to the quarterback, to the receivers, to the DBs. You got to communicate all over the field. So as long as they get used to talking to each other, that's going to create great uh, positive energy. It actually feels pretty good. Uh, I was kind of missing the season uh, during the summer and stuff, like during weightlifting and stuff. I was just missing staying out here and actually getting to get, uh, do all the work. And they hope that work allows the Spartan success from the past couple years to continue. My goal, you know, to get us prepared to win the track championships. You know, last year we fell a little short, but this year I hope we could, you know, start strong and get it. We'll get better every single day. We get 3% better every single day, and we're just working to get a victory. Hopefully uh, make it back to the playoffs this year and do better and continue to do better.